So I believe everybody's aware of my stance on inland border patrol checkpoints. I loathe them. But I'm going to look at this from a legal standpoint. Uh, Mr. Warden makes some mistakes, I believe. The first thing he does is he answers questions. Don't answer questions. Please, for the love of God, don't answer questions. Don't talk to the police if you don't have to. If you have to talk to the police, don't answer questions. If you do start answering questions and you come to a question you don't want to answer, invoke the Fifth Amendment. Specifically say, I invoke my Fifth Amendment right. This is Salinas v. Texas. This is, I think, a terrible decision. But the Supreme Court has said that if you don't specifically invoke your Fifth Amendment right, it can be used, your silence can be used against you in court. Which means that your silence can be used against you as far as establishing reasonable suspicion or probable cause. Which means that the Border Patrol can say, uh, I had reasonable suspicion that Mr. Warden was an illegal immigrant because he specifically would not answer whether or not he was a citizen. He would answer other questions. He was very forthcoming about other issues. He was talkative, but he would not answer about that specific question, which raised my levels to a reasonable suspicion standard. Uh, the other one other mistake I think he made and I'm nitpicking this. I think this was a great non non-compliance inland checkpoint non-compliance video. I think it would play excellently to a jury. A jury would love this. Mr. Warden was pleasant. He wasn't showing any signs of duplicity or any signs that he was lying, sweating, unable to make or maintain eye contact. Um, stuttering. He had he had no indicia that he was being untruthful or hiding anything. Had he invoked his Fifth Amendment right, I think that if he'd invoked his Fifth Amendment right, his failure to answer that question wouldn't have been held against him. And they would have no grounds. The video would exonerate him of any reasonable suspicion. Bada boom, bada bing. But then he goes and he says that there is a firearm under the sea. He volunteers that information. So now they have reasonable suspicion that he may be an illegal immigrant and they have they know that there's a firearm in the car. So they could run the firearm to see if it's stolen because illegal immigrants can't own firearms in the US. And there you go. So I think that was a mistake. And finally, they ask him the guy says that they need to take him in to roll his fingerprints and mr warden doesn't make them specify if it's a lawful order now when they ordered him over to to uh secondary mr warden correctly pointed out that they ordered him over there awesome i love it perfect then the guy comes up and says i need to roll you for your i need to roll you i need to take you in the office and roll you i'm assuming he means fingerprints and Mr. Warden just says, well, okay, if you got to. He doesn't object. And consent is a very powerful tool in the hands of the prosecution. If it appears that you are consenting to a search, it is no longer a Fourth Amendment violation. So that's problematic. Now, could a good defense attorney turn that around and say that, that Mr. Warden wasn't? He was already... Uh, being detained and he had already submitted to their show of force and therefore any further um, submission to their force was just a continuance of that. Maybe. I, I think a good defense attorney could convince the jury. And again, Mr. Warden's uh, composure in this, he wasn't arguing, yelling, being a general jackass. He was cool, calm, collected. He was everything I'd want. It was a great one, except he didn't Okay, so three things. He didn't invoke his... He talked to the police. That's the big one. Number one, don't talk to the police. Number two, he didn't invoke his Fifth Amendment right about that specific question. So it could be used against him. Number three, he volunteered the evidence of a firearm that was in the vehicle. And number four, he didn't make them be specific that it was a lawful order for him to go in to get fingerprinted. Am I nitpicking? Absolutely but I think it's warranted. 
other than that, it was an excellent video. It was an excellent non-compliance and I support him in this 100%.